Hey there, my fellow barbecue enthusiasts. Welcome to Baker's Barbecue. Hey, I'm Mike Baker, and today we're going to cook a brisket flat. I'm going to show you a way to just do it simple and easy without doing a lot of checking, without running through the process and tinkering with it the whole time. Sometimes there's a lot to be said about just simplicity and doing it simple. So stick around. Don't go nowhere. Let's get to smoking. All right, so today we're going to be cooking this brisket flat on the Weber Kettle Master Touch. You know, I just got it set up for two-zone cooking. I've got uh, I'll charcoal set off to one side, I've got a water pan on the other side, have the brisket set up over there, and it's going to let it work its way through. I'm just using straight up old kings for charcoal, and I've got some post oak on there for wood. So it's just going to be a simple cook today. We're going to enjoy the beautiful weather. It's about mid-July. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be hot. So I hope you guys fire up your cookers and cook right along with me and enjoy your day as well. So what we have today is about a three and a half, four pound brisket flat. I'm figuring it's going to take somewhere around eight hours to cook. And I'm hoping to be able to have enough time to let it rest for two hours, a couple hours, something like that. So it's a nice brisket. I didn't have to do any trimming to it, so I didn't waste time showing you that. All I did was I put a little bit of uh, Worcestershire sauce on it and put my uh, favorite rub on there, Baker's Barbecue, my Champions Blend and my Competition Blend. And I hit it with a good layer of pepper as well to kind of give it that Texas flair. Our temperatures come up to about 255, so I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, brisket flat on here. I'm just going to take my lid off here. Got us a nice looking brisket. All right. I'm going to position it just about like that right there. And I've got a couple extra pieces of wood I'm going to be throwing down in there. Make sure I get some good smoke in here after a while as it progresses through the process. All right, so I'm going to get the lid back on. I'm going to get shut down. I'm going to keep the dampers adjusted where the temperature is running somewhere around 250 to 270, somewhere in that range. And today, like I said, is just going to be an easy cook. I'm going to show you the easy way to do brisket. Sometimes people like to play with it, fiddle with it. And it all turns out great when you do that. Don't get me wrong. But there's also a lot to be said about just doing it simple. So today we're putting it on. We're not going to touch it until the temperature gets to somewhere around 175, 180. I'll check it, see how the bark's looking. And if it's looking good, we'll decide then if we're going to wrap or if we're going to go ahead and go all the way through unwrapped. But either way, I'm not going to come back and check it until the temperatures hit that range I just talked about. So it's going to be a while, and I'll bring you back, and we'll take a look at it. So we're four hours into the cook. And the temperature's already come up to 180 internally. It's come up a little bit quicker than what I expected. My average temperature on the smoker has been running about 265 to 275. It's been floating back and forth there. So since I've reached 180, I'm going to take a quick look at it, see how the bark's looking. And we're going to decide if we're going to wrap it or if we're going to let it go ahead and try to finish on out unwrapped. All right, so let's get this lid off here. That is looking absolutely wonderful. Check that out. Oh, yeah. You know what? Fat cap, everything is looking good. The bark is looking excellent. I think for right now, I'm just going to go ahead. I'm going to let it continue on uh, uncovered. And then we'll come back in a little while and we'll check it to see if we want to cover it. Or I might just let it go ahead and finish on out. So I'm going to go ahead and get the lid put back on it. <coughs> and we're going to keep on rolling. My temperature, I'm going to keep it up there about the same range, 265, 270. I'm going to let it continue on. Now, the simplicity part of this is this is the first time I've checked it. Six or uh, four hours into it, first time I've checked it, it's come to 180. I've not spritzed it, not done anything to it. It's looking good. It's not drying out. It's just coming together nicely. So we're going to continue on and let this brisket keep on smoking. There it is, four hours into it, 180 degrees internal. Looking really good. All right, so our internal temperature has come up to 203. So I'm going to check it now. I never did... Uh, wrap the brisket and went through the whole process unwrapped it's got a beautiful bark on it uh, but we're going to check it for probe tender and if it's probe tender what i'm going to do is i'm going to take it off i'm going to put some beef tallow on some aluminum foil i'm going to set this on that i'm going to set it on the counter for 15 20 minutes and let it kind of cool down before i actually wrap it up and i'm going to wrap it up in the foil with the beef tallow underneath the brisket and i'm going to let it sit on the counter for two three hours something like that to ready to eat uh, dinner this evening. So uh, let's come in here and let's check it for probe tender. I'm just going to use my probe that's in here. 
Look at that, going in just like butter. See that? That's what you want right there. Literally going in just like butter. All right, so it's definitely ready to come off. All right, so I just brought the brisket in. What I've got now is I've got two things of heavy duty aluminum foil. I put down some homemade beef tallow that's on the foil. Uh, and I also put a little bit more of my seasoning on there. Uh, you can put any kind of, whatever kind of seasoning you're using, you can put a little bit more on that as well. It allows the, that new seasoning to merge with the beef tallow. And later you can use that as you slice it to, uh, to dip your slices into and create good flavor uh, throughout the brisket. I'm going to let this sit here probably for 20, 15, 20 minutes. Just let the steaming effect stop. Then I'm going to wrap it up in this foil. And I'm going to let it sit here probably for probably three hours, maybe four hours, depending on uh, what time we're going to eat. It's about 2.30 now. We'll probably eat somewhere around 5.30 or 6. So I'll let it sit till that time and slice it. So when that time comes, I'll bring you back. I'll have it sliced up and we'll be able to look at it, uh, do a tug, tug test on it, do a taste test, and uh, see how we did. So this right here is how it looks when I'm letting it rest for all the ones that have not uh, done this process. I just wrap it up in a towel and uh, actually I folded it up in the foil like I was telling you I was going to do and then I just wrap it up in the towel, tuck it away, leave it on the counter. If I'm going to hold it for longer periods of time, I'd put it in a dry cooler. But today I'm not going to hold it but two or three hours, so I'm going to let it sit here on the counter and rest and let it uh, reabsorb all the juices and that'll really help the brisket taste even that much better and have it such a better texture. Here's a finished product all sliced up and you can tell that fat rendered absolutely beautiful. What you want is that fat to kind of congeal on top of that and uh, it adds phenomenal flavor. All right there my fellow barbecue enthusiast, got the brisket all done and I'm gonna do a quick recap. So this was a easy to easy process brisket, didn't tinker with it, didn't play with it. Uh, what we did is we put it on the smoker I cooked it at 265 to 275. That temperature varied back and forth. And I smoked it until it come to an internal temperature of 203. And then I checked it for probe tender. Once it was probe tender, I put some beef tallow down, put a little bit of my seasoning on top of the tallow, set the brisket on top of that, let it sit there for about 15, 20 minutes, let the steaming effect stop. And then I went ahead and wrapped it up in foil and then wrapped it up in a towel. So throughout the cooking process, I didn't tinker with it. At 180 degrees to turn on, we did check on it. The bark was looking good. We decided to go ahead and go unwrap the rest of the process. And I got to tell you, it looks phenomenal. I can't wait to try it. So the next thing for us to do is take a big bite of this and see how it is. Pull me a piece out of the center right here. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Got some good juiciness to it. This is really juicy. Let me see how it does on the pull test here. Pulls right apart. All right, so let's go in here and get us a big old bite of this thing. Mm. I got to tell you, absolutely delicious you know when you cook these brisket flats you need a little bit of leave a little bit of a fat cap on top i didn't trim this one down the fat cap looked perfect and as you cook throughout that cooking process what you want is you want that fat to render and almost congeal it's almost going to be almost like a jelly texture as it's cooking down correct and that just enhances the flavor when you take a bite of it get some of that fat in there it's wonderful so i hope you guys enjoy the video today i hope you go out and try to cook you an easy brisket like this and I hope you will come back and you will join me again on our next video if you're new to the channel thanks for coming please hit that thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button if you're not new and you're coming back i really do appreciate it thanks for your support please hit that thumbs up so until the next time i see you happy smoking <laughs>